Some COVID-19 patients develop more severe forms of the disease, increasing mortality risk. Differentiating patients likely to deteriorate can be clinically challenging. One major risk factor for severe disease is bacterial co-infection. Therefore, up to 80% of COVID-19 patients are started on empirical antibiotics at hospital admission. Overuse of antibiotics leads to increased adverse events, antibiotic resistance, and costs. Procalcitonin, PCT, is a blood-based biomarker that can be used to identify patients' response to bacterial infection. It increases 3 to 6 hours after bacterial insult, peaks after 12 to 24 hours, then rapidly decreases as infection resolves. If infection is only of viral origin, PCT remains low. This makes PCT a useful tool to screen COVID-19 patients for bacterial co-infections. Procalcitonin levels can also predict severity and poorer outcomes. A PCT threshold can stratify patients with low likelihood of bacterial co-infection. The test therefore aids in antibiotic treatment decisions following the existing respiratory tract infection guidelines and recommendations. Patients with PCT below 0.25 micrograms per liter were more likely to have antibiotics safely de-escalated within 48 hours of hospital admission, leading to a 60% reduction of unnecessary antibiotics. PCT is a helpful marker on admission of COVID-19 patients and is also useful to monitor disease course and detect secondary bacterial infection. Several studies also identified PCT as a strong predictor of adverse outcome. PCT below or equal to 0.25 micrograms per liter was associated with lower mortality risk. Higher levels of PCT were associated with up to 5 to 8 times higher risk of complications or mortality. Based on the evolving data, procalcitonin has been included in international, national and hospital guidelines and recommendations for management of COVID-19 patients.